Hello and welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to create a bar chart with floating labels in Tableau. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. Here I have a bar chart that shows percentage scored by 10 students of a class. We already know how to create a simple bar chart in Tableau. But what different I have done in this bar chart is that instead of showing labels on top of each bar, here I have added labels inside these floating circles if you want something different from a regular bar chart then you can make use of this bar chart with floating labels now let's jump to tableau and see how to create a view similar to this one for this tutorial i am using the students performance data set in this data set i have marks of 10 students in five different subjects and the final percentage that the student has scored so the columns that are present in the data set are name of the student then the gender of the student then marks scored by the student in five different subjects maths english science social studies and french then the total marks and the percentage that they have scored using this data set we need to find out who has scored the highest percentage so we will use bar chart to display the percentage of all the 10 students now let's go to sheet 1. First, we will create a bar chart to show the percentage scored by 10 students of a class. Drag name column to the column shelf and drag percentage column to the row shelf. Change the fit to entire view. Turn on the labels by clicking on show marks label button. Let's change the format to show these labels in terms of percentage. Right click, click on format, then go to pane, under numbers, click on percentage. We don't want to show any decimal places. Click anywhere outside. So this is a simple bar chart that shows percentage scored by 10 students of a class. Now to give floating labels to this bar chart instead of these labels we will create a dual axis chart create a new calculated field close this format window click on the drop down click on create calculated field let's name it label We want the labels to come at the top of each bar at a constant distance from each of the bar. So write down here sum of percentage plus window max sum of percentage into 0.1 what we are trying to do here in this calculation is that first we are trying to find the maximum value from this bar chart using the window max function so window max function as you will see from the description returns the maximum value within the window and the window we have given is this entire bar chart so basically we need to find the maximum value from this bar chart and then we are multiplying the maximum percentage value with 0.1 the result that we will get from this calculation will be added to the percentage value so that the labels come at the top of each of the bar at a constant distance from each of the bar click on ok now let's see what the window max value comes out to be. So just duplicate this label field 
click on the drop down click on duplicate and click on edit let's remove this sum of percentage click on ok so the maximum value that we can see from this chart is 87 now drag this window max calculation let's change the format to show this value in terms of percentage right click click on format then under numbers go to percentage let's convert it to one decimal place so the maximum value in this bar chart is 87 and then multiplying that value with 0.1 will give us 8.7 percent now close this format window drag this label field also to the row shelf let's change the format of this field also in terms of percentage click on format then go to numbers under numbers select percentage let's remove the decimal places so now suppose the percentage value is 83 percent and then adding a constant distance 8.7 percent to this 83 percent gives us 92 percent so the floating label for the first bar will come at a value of 92 percent so let me first create the dual axis chart which will help you understand this better remove this copy label field now click on the drop down click on dual axis now change the mark type of percentage field to bar and let's select the mark type as shape for this label now synchronize both the axis right click click on synchronize axis so for now let's turn off the labels by clicking on this show marks label button now you will observe that the circles are coming at a constant distance from each of the bar now let's select filled circle increase the size a little bit and drag label calculated field to label we want these labels to come inside these circles so go to label and under alignment select middle click anywhere outside now we are getting these percentage label inside the floating shapes next let's decrease the size of these bars to make a good looking bar chart so go to percentage field under size let's decrease the size now the width of the bars look good let's remove the header right click uncheck show header let's remove this field label right click click on height field labels for column let's remove these grid lines right click click on format then go to borders select none for the row divider and select none for the column divider then go to lines and then go to rows select none for the grid lines we need to remove the zero lines so select none for the zero lines let's select blue color for these bars so double click on percentage and then select this blue color click on ok let's decrease the size a little bit more go to size now the chart looks good now if you want to increase or decrease the distance between the circle and the bar then you can edit the label calculated field so close this format lines window then click on the drop down click on edit let's multiply it by 
zero point two. Click on apply. Now you will observe that the distance has increased between the bar and the circle. In this way, you can edit the calculation according to your requirement. Let me keep it zero point one. Click on OK. And from here, you can select any shape of your preference. as you want your bar chart to look let's select some custom shapes go to this drop down and select these emoticons click on ok and remove these major names from color so you can also add these custom shapes the labels are not clearly visible Let's edit the label and change the alignment. Lastly, if you want to show different emoticons for the students who have scored say less than 70%, then we can create a new calculated field and drop that calculated field to shape. So click on the drop down, click on create calculated field. Let's name it shape and here we will write down if percentage less than 0 0.7 then bad else good and so in this calculation we are telling Tableau to categorize all the students with percentage less than 70% as bad and all the students with percentage greater than 70% will be categorized as good here you can give conditions as per your requirement and make sure that you are giving the percentage in terms of decimal otherwise the formula will give us error click on ok now drag this new calculated field to shape now let's edit the shape go to shape and from the drop down I will select this emoticon I want to give sad emoticon for bad and good students will have this smiling emoticon click on ok let me arrange these bars in descending order now here the student with the percentage 74 percent is also given sad emoticon okay so my bad so these labels that we want to show here should be the percentage label and not this label calculated field so remove this label calculated field and drag this percentage to label so I had earlier dropped this label calculated field to label which is not correct we want to show percentage as labels so now you will observe that the students with the percentage less than 70 percent are shown with sad emoticons and the students with percentage greater than 70 percent are shown with smiling emoticons so in this way you can do some modifications to the regular bar chart and create a bar chart with floating labels this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below do not forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell icon if you do not want to miss such useful content in the future. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next tutorial.